So this video is about failure. In sum, I use both DCM extraction and direct fractional distillation method and failed. If you are interested in the complete guide of this reaction, this is not the video that you are finding. The reaction that we are going to carry out in this video is called Kenetzaro reaction. The reason that I'm doing this reaction is that I want to get benzyl alcohol and brominate using hydrobromic acid and carry out Grignard reaction with acetaldehyde making 1 phenol to propanol. The unique thing about this reaction is that the benzaldehyde used is oxidized and reduced. You don't see this kind of reaction where two same molecules get oxidized and reduced. In strong basic condition, two benzaldehyde molecules are reduced to benzyl alcohol and oxidized to benzoic acid. For the reaction, I get 40 ml of benzaldehyde. I wash it with some sodium bicarbonate solution to destroy benzoic acid and use a separatory funnel to separate. Benzaldehyde has the density of 1.04, which is very close to the pure water of 1. So the solution that contains sodium bicarbonate and benzoic acid salts is denser than benzaldehyde solution. Then I prepare 20 grams of sodium hydroxide dissolved in 20 ml of water. It heats up quite a bit, so be aware. I mix the sodium hydroxide solution with benzaldehyde. I loosely place the stopper on the top of the beaker and heat the solution at 100 degrees Celsius. I let the heating continue for one hour. After one hour, there was two separate layers and the upper layer is solely sodium benzoate and below is benzyl alcohol. I obtained a low layer and filtered upper gallic solids because it contained quite a lot of liquid inside. Then I add DCM to extract benzyl alcohol. It gets quite a lot of pressure inside, so the separatory funnel must be vent frequently. I actually referenced Naira's video on Kenitsaro reaction and the view was pretty low, but I just followed his method. But distilling the DCM extraction liquid, I never got any benzyl alcohol. And in the comment section, people said that benzyl alcohol is soluble in water and direct distillation is better. So I did it with the same method, but there was a huge problem. Benzyl alcohol actually creates azeotrope with water at 99.9 .9 degrees Celsius. And that is frustrating because in the water benzyl alcohol azeotrope, benzyl alcohol accounts 9% of the weight in azeotrope. Benzyl alcohol would be about 10 meters maximum, but we have excess water, so all we got after the fractional distillation was water benzyl alcohol azeotrope that contains a little bit of benzyl alcohol. So you should do the distillation after you dry those benzyl alcohol using magnesium sulfate, but you will need quite a lot of magnesium sulfate to dry half water and half benzyl alcohol mixture. And you will inevitably lose some benzyl alcohol because of the age of trouble. So after two failure, I just start working on the reaction because in my opinion, benzaldehyde is such a disgusting organic compound to work with. I really wanted to carry up Grignard reaction of benzyl halide and I planned Cl2 free radical substitution using UV light but it got cancelled because chlorine has no mercy if you mistake and it can easily kill you. Although I had a proper fume hood and respirator, it's not the reaction that you want to carry out in high school. Also the lab is near the student classroom and I don't want my friends to breathe in toxic chlorine gas. If you guys are planning to do this method, please do not follow what I did. 
The whole point of this video is to inform you guys so that you don't waste your precious time and more importantly, benzaldehyde, since it's regulated substances in most countries.